Sasani team safeguarding hope mkopoa mnaendelea vizuri God is being good to you mnaendelea kulinda kutunza na kuangalia watoto vizuri and your family is doing good Mimi your safeguarding officer Jeff pia niko salama God has been faithful I thank God because of everything First and foremost let me take this opportunity to say thank you for supporting team safeguarding Asante ni sana for liking our videos for sharing your thought and your comments it's critical to ongeleshane kwa sababu usually i tell people yes i may come and uh, teach lecture about safeguarding but the most effective way of learning ni ile ambayo tunakuwa na what we call a live interaction na sa zingine if we are not doing a live video or a live together the only way to interact is commenting sharing your thoughts and back and forth. So karibuni sana katika hii video siku ya leo. Thank you for subscribing. We do need people to subscribe so that we can have a strong formidable group ndani ya team safeguarding around the world and right now we are trusting God for 20,000 so that tuweze kuendelea na hii kazi nzuri ya kulinda na kutunza uh, watoto wetu ndani ya familia family is everything kama vile nimekuwa nikiwaambia watoto hulelewa vizuri ndani ya familia leo tungependa tu kuongea kuhusu Mr. Kamodo amekuwa kwa mtandao just the other day na ameweza kuleta a different side of his life apart from ile watu ambaye wanaelewa ambaye ni ya mzozo ule ambaye ameweza kuwa nao i think tangia 2016 from what he was saying but i think some some of us no the story was beyond there wakati ilianzia i think huko two or three years before then but on this video particular i related the different side of mr kamodo and he was talking about the contractor he is he was talking about what he does for a living of course aliweza kuja na kuongea kuhusu how his work um, was affected by what happened ndani ya familia yake wakati iliweza kuvunjika na like, wakaenda in separate ways and the court and everybody on social media uh, got involved that his businesses ili teremka chini sana lakini leo ningependa tuongee kuhusu what people are saying i'm going to borrow this small clip from Bamasi show ili uweze tukusikia kidogo tu kuhusu Mr. Kamodo and what he was saying niko wodi contractor na kidoka na uliwambi tete muno miaka mingi ndio sio yes na wila contractor ndio wila mwega mhm no wila na kumuli tu wila out of challenges yes toro bwana muta hi mudu waga yaka nyupa mhm uti muta agira waka mshito yu wana kanyupa igi na usafe cost mhm na wakilu kilu kila ubi ya di maya ya de koreji to wanda wadho wamete koreji kilu 86 de koreji li he mudu wadho 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 na kijira if you do a project mm -hmm. make sure that it can la, la, last about 70 years oh. 50 to 70 years na nida na geri ugumuta hitoru na ugumwa kondi kiwedete ndigia kama sio da kile kile to this two seven mhm he do ko tie ya do na ndigia kama sio yo kahora na no da kile na masare jis maigi no da mane dire kuaka yes as an example he do da waka ni sio ya cost out of money okay Okay. Kwa kwa valuation hii ndio ile mwaka mm -hmm. 6.5 million. Eh. Uh -huh. Eh uta uta kiwaja. Yes. No to ni kwa mwakori. Mm -hmm. I was used about 3.8 million. Mm -hmm. I saved a lot. Okay. Ndio akomenya. Yeah yeah. Ndio yeah. amwako. Ndio amwako ya. Yeah. Toro kile kitu banga mudu ale mune mwakori. Mhm. Mm ni kwa akomenya the truth. Ni kwa. Maybe you don't have the right architects. Yes. The right consultant engineers. Mm -hmm. Right contractors. Yeah. Adwa mali uta kugutaidia. Mm. Toro mwako is niki duke bataraga a teamwork. Yeah. Toro regardless at the uh, hena technical engineer even the, the client is very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wabeno we mwene besa mm -hmm. niwe mwene dream mm -hmm. ya kiria area ya gatu wana ki. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Ona konto dia toka kona sama za constant uh, consultants mm -hmm. ni machari jaga ene mm -hmm. kana maka akumuhe what he desires. Yes. 
Tu as un contrat qui est en train de se faire. Tu as un contrat qui est en train de se faire. Tu as un contrat qui est en train de se faire. Tu as un contrat qui est en train de se faire. Tu as un contrat qui est en train de se faire. Tu as un contrat qui est en train de se faire. Tu as Matukumaya mose wika no kamiti go ha ko go no nyede ko kwira it has been a challenge na ni ko na do kimai ba go ne waka watu wangu so mweza kusikia Mr. Kamodo akiongea kuhusu his other side of life ile ambaye maybe some people do not know kuna watu ambaye maybe they did not know about Mr. Kamodo and his whole family uh, na mambo ya watoto wake na nini na maybe ulikuja umekuta Mr. Kamodo hapo kwa mtandao na hujui the beginning so definitely of course uh, he is a contractor ni mtu ambaye amekuwa katika uh, trade ya ujenzi wa manyumba his own house where he lives uko Kisi estate in Thika he built it himself as a contractor a fantastic house one of a kind uh, i think according to what he and his family say this was the first house uko katika Kisi kukuwa ni a one story building so it's indeed um, a man that is blessed lakini kwa siku ya leo katika hiyo video mmeona if you go to the Bamase show, you'll be able to see the whole video. We can't, of course, uh, to me a video because of what uh, policies and done YouTube uh, fair use. But anyway, ningependa kuangalia reactions za watu ndani ya hiyo video. Ambaye ili premiere, according to what I can see here, it premiered a day ago, but of course we are talking about 24 hours. There is about 385 comments ndani ya hiyo Bamase show and uh, the video right now um, has attracted I think about 12,000 views so of course the video is doing good but uh, Mr. Kamodo hapo waliweza kupatia na namba yake of course so that watu wa mpatia kazi so that aweze kufanya kazi because that is what he does but if we try to look at comments I think vile nimesema kuna comments ambazo ni just about 400 but actually the comments zile ambazo ziko hapo they are not even 20 different but it is because of how people are commenting dani ya one comment so tukijaribu kuangalia i think uh, one of the comment hapo sitasoma majina ya wale watu ambao amesema uh, inasema a real man will not let his children be helped out there when he is able it is a big shame for him hiyo imewekwa 42 kidole likes and it has 11 comments tukiingia ndani ya hizo comments mmoja anasema honestly are you sure so huyo ni kama anauliza maswali maybe anaweza kusema ako na side ya Mr. Kamodo um mwingine anasema what can he do when they opt to leave their home and husband again huyo Unaweza kusema kwa pande hiyo ya Kamodo. Mwingine anasema they did not opt out. But I love Mr. Kamodo. I believe he is a good man who was blinded by kitu ambaye sita mention just like Adam. A man who loved his kids as they tell us is not really a bad man. He made mistakes and he knows but how does he fix this? So it's a story ni mob zikienda dikienda. But if I go back to ni toke kwa your comment ya kwanza ambaye kona 11 replies. The second comment inasema, thank you for giving this man a platform to showcase his passion for working. He will rise again. God be merciful and forgive him for his shortcomings. Blessings Mr. Kamodo and this platform. Again, you kona three comments back. Uh, mungina nasema, we love you, Mr. Kamodo. Let us give him job so that he's very 
mature and very professional in his career. So Mungina Sama, he knows what he's talking about. Uh, if I scroll down, uh, I scroll down and jump Kidogo. Mungine hapa anasema, I totally agree with Lucy Nyawera Kamodo that her dad is very knowledgeable with construction. Um, Saitani waigere ileko. Uye naugea kuhusu shetani uli ingililia wapi. Um, the Kamodo we want to see, definitely. Mungine hapa anaongea, uh, they looking good with Virginia. Very young, two of them, wish they can become together. Hiyo ni mwingine nataka Virginia na Kamodo wa Rudiane. Uh, mwingine anasema very inspiring. Watu wengi wana pendaga kusikiza bad side of someone life, but I believe each one has many sides. Uh, nice content. Mwingine anasema I am a woman and I will always advocate for the other side of the story and most domestic stories, not all the others self righteous party also plays part i stand with kamodo having listened to the something wife severally he tried living with that sita ongeza zingine of course kuna wengine hapa wanasema mr kamodo um please take care of your children and don't deny them fatherly love Comment is equal mingi like we are saying. Mungina sema love your children and you will be helped. Wewe mwenyewe unamhoji huwezi mwambia ukweli. So this person anangililia the host. Anamuambia, anasema Mr. Kamodo anafaa kupenda watoto wake. And this guy that is, amempatia Mr. Kamodo platform. Mama namuhoji, the interviewer, should be telling Mr. Kamodo the truth. Um. Mungina asema, why pity a person who does not honor his vows? Who causes his children? Who has made the whole world know his unfaithfulness? God judges and we will see you. Was that not enough? By also... Very decent and diligent professional. Very smart guy. So is his story ni mob watu wangu? The stories are variating from Kuna wengi wanathikiria Mr. Kamodo is very smart Mr. Kamodo is very knowledgeable katika kazi yake Na wanaomba Mr. Kamodo apewe job Sisi kuna video tulifanya ile wakati wa kwanza Ambaye Mr. Kamodo alikuja na kaungea kuhusu kazi yake I think katika hiyo video ilikuwa ni ndani ya 3T uh, 3T TV So um, first and foremost I'm happy that Mr. Kamodo is actually now opening up and is actually allowing a few uh, interviewers wakuja weze kufanya interview na ye because previously uh, ilikuwa ni Betty Bayo but of course of late umeona 3T uh, wameweza kumu interview ile last the, the last interview before this and then this is Bamase show so hopefully Mr. Kamodo ye mwenyewe naendelea vizuri and on our last video ile ambaye tulifanya tulimuambia Mr. Kamodo definitely uh, alikuwa of course ana complain sana na sema kazi yake iliharibika sana kwa sababu ya what happened to his family now there is no point of kuendelea ku complain ama nini we cannot do anything about milk that is been spilled hauwezi kuyokota maji yakishamwagika watu wangu hayazoleki so you have to march on and go ahead and i think mr kamoto did the right thing kukuja kwa mtandao na kusema look kuna client wengi nilipoteza kuna watu wengi sana walikuja wakaanza kuona what was happening and uh, they became worried and uh, nika lose a lot of job that all happened and unfortunately that is a consequence that comes as a result of issues crisis ikingia ndani ya marriage ikingia ndani ya family those are the outcomes things are never gonna be the same again that is why it's critical Hata kama mambo ya taharibika, you try and make sure that you are going to work out a plan, a strategy, over how you are going to end things pole pole. Yes, na juu kuna watu wanaendaga na wana divorce. God hates divorce, but it does happen. Paul anasema ni afadhali, unaweza kumfraisha mungu vizuri kama ukikuwa single. 
Lakini kwa sababu ya shida na tamaa za mwili. The body ambayo tuko naye, the body and the flesh is lustful. It is important for you to marry or to be married than to burn with lust. So let each man have his own wife and let each woman have his, her own husband for the purposes of kuka vizuri. Kini unfortunately because of the issues of life stories zinatokea anga unakuta familia ime part ways. But hata kama mta part ways because of whatever indifferences imeingia hapo katikati. Mimi naambiaga watu it is critical it is fundamental it is important muhakikisha kwamba what came out of the two of you when you are working out your relationship ni critical na hao ndio watoto you must protect the children at whatever cost by any means necessary wewe kama mama na wewe kama baba you must protect so try for the sake of your family hata kama huyu mtu mbaya sasa mbe part ways mmeshindana you have separated wengine hata wameenda through mpaka wamefanya divorce wengine hata wameenda through mpaka wamekuwa remarried so but make sure you keep a clear line and na, na, na i know haupendi huyu mtu i know utaki hata kumfikiria i know hata utaki kumsikia i know ukiona huyu mtu unaanza kichwa inaanza kukusumbua i know ukiona mtu unafikiria kama utakasirika but because of the children that you have it is critical it is fundamental you keep a line ili ambaye utafungua for the sake of children because it's how ya kwamba these children are as yours as much as they are your partner the person that you no longer with so it's critical hauwezi kuachilia watoto wako waende na baba yao hauwezi kuachilia watoto wako waende na mama yao children are yours especially men when we sire children we must make sure we take care of them until they are adults once they are adults and they are able to take care of themselves then that's that's not a problem but as long as you are going to have children that are under 18 the how ni watoto wanaitwa watoto na lazima watunzwe wasomeshwe walishwe wavishwe wapatwe pahali pa kukaa wapatwe time play all that is fundamental for children's growth and development pia kama mtoto wako na need hakuna limit ya 18 huyo mtu ama mtoto hata kama ni adult la kuna disability kuna watu ambao wanaweza kuwa 30 years old but the their thinking ability ni kama ya mtoto wa miaka kumi. ama ni kama you know mtu ambaye ni wa miaka saba. because of how uh, they are wired so ikishaingia ni need you know as a mother and a father it might be a lifetime that utabaki ukiangalia huyo mtu and your services are going to be needed as a mother or as a father to ensure ya kwamba huyo mtoto ama huyo adult ambaye ako na need amekuwa taken care of so katika hii video of course Mr Kamodo ameleta story ya side yake ya kazi tumekuwa na watu wengi sana wamekuwa kisema hakuna kitu wangependa hata kusikia kwa Mr Kamodo because what is happening right now about his family but there's mimi ningependa kuangalia hii issue from one side ya Mr Kamodo and uh, really uh, i think one thing that ningependa kupatia virginia my sister virginia is ningependa kumpatia hongera because she has really worked hard i don't care what people say about what she anafanyanga pesa wapi anafanya anapata wapi anaomba i don't care what matters nda ikishafika ni watoto watoto wanakula watoto wanavishwa watoto wanalelewa namna gani watoto wako na pahali pa kukaa what whatever you do to provide a roof to those children as long as eh ni legal na sio mtu umeenda kuua ama kufanya tabia mbaya ndio upate vile hao watoto watakaa then for me it doesn't matter what is important ndani ya mama na baba is to ensure that watoto wako wanakula watoto wako wanakunywa watoto wako wana pahali pa kukaa watoto wako wanaenda shuleni wanalipua karo za shule watoto wako una muda wa kucheza na wao ili wakue kama wale watoto wengine soon as mtoto akikuwa deprived ndani ya childhood activities ndani ya childhood things that they must have when they are a child akisha nyimwa two or three stages let me talk about a boy child boy child akikataa kuwa na hiyo stage ya boyhood 
I'm telling you, when he will become a man, he is going to revisit the boy stage that I miss. And that is not going to be a good scene. Kwa sababu na kuambia taanza kufanya, yeye sasa ni mwanaume, he's a man, but he's behaving like a boy. He's acting like a boy. Kwa sababu he missed a stage. It's the same thing as a girl. Mschana aki miss girlhood stage. Alafu wende ya kue mama. She is going at some point in her life atakuwa bibi ya mtu, mama ya mtu. Atakuwa na revisit girlhood. Because hii ni kitu ambaye ulimiss. Hau kupitia. And therefore you are going to be feeling within yourself like I missed. And therefore I want to revisit and do those things. At the wrong time. You are doing the right thing ili ambayo ungefaa ufanya ukiwa mschana ama kijana. But this is the wrong time because ata wewe ni bibi ya mtu, wewe ni mama. This is why it's important for stages to be there in life. Girlhood stage, boyhood stage, in manhood, ladyhood, I'm a womanhood. Then unaingia husbandhood, wifehood, and then unaenda fatherhood, motherhood, ata using as a grandparent. Those stages are critical. So for Mimi, I give Virginia all the credit. Na sisemi zipati Mr. Kamodo credit. And this is to kiongea kuhusu Virginia hapa. Nongea kuhusu Virginia and other Virginias. Other Marys, Jerry's, Nyamburas, Wanjikos, Atienos. Whatever name it is. Mama yote ambaye amejitolea kusaidia watoto wake. Probably because maybe amekua ye ni single mother. Ama baba ya watoto wake aliaga. Ama baba ya watoto wake hajishugulishi. Ama Mr. Kamau, Mr. Omondi. Mr. Musiemi, uh, Mr. Njunge, Mr. Whatever, ule ambaye pia ako namna hiyo. Maybe bibi aliaga, ako for single father, ama mama alitoroka kamuachia watoto. Mutunonge hiyo scenario. We give that man or that woman the credit. So in this case, mimi napatia Virginia hiyo credit because she has worked hard. People can complain around the world. Anachangisha, anafanya nini. But for me as a safeguarding officer, I don't care. I really do not care about that. What I care about is that watoto wanakula, watoto wakushuleni, watoto wanavishwa, watoto wanalelewa vizuri. That is what is fundamental. Ima mwengine eti, whatever eti, amechangisha, amechangisha hii, amechangisha tena, amechangisha hii. It's okay for people to talk. You know, kila mtu wakona life yake. Na hakuna mtu, let me put this disclaimer out there. By the way, a lot of us can talk a lot, and some of us, ata siyo story ya Virginia Makamodo, kuna ata vitu zingine mwingi watu wanaongeaka kuhusu, but you never give a penny. You never give no, ata advice ukupeana, but when it comes, you are very vocal, kuongea. But for me, what I'm saying is this, watoto ni lanzima wangaliwe, by any means necessary. Do whatever it is you're going to do to keep your children safe. Hakuna kukompromise safety ya watoto. Watoto ni lazima walelewe. Wewe kama ni kibarua utaenda, ufanya kibarua, ufanya kibarua. Kama watu wataki uomba ombe na wanakupatia kazi, then let somebody come and say, oh, tume, mimi nimepatia uu kazi ni namlipa 70,000 shillings every month, na badu wana uomba ombe kwa mtandao. So mbana na uomba ombe na mimi nimemuandika kazi. I mean, tumeona watu wengi sana mtu watalikuwa hana kitu na anakuja anachangiwa kwa mtandao na anazia biyashara na na mungu anambariki hata ya mwenye anaza kuwa baraka katika watu wengine. People uh, do not understand how hard it is to have five, six or seven children that buy ni wadogo and you are the sole provider for them. Anyway, katika hii story, ilipuwa tunongea kuhuzo Mr. Kamodo. Mr. Kamodo hapa, nataka kusimama na ye, niseme, watu wa mkua mtandao wa meongea hard sana kwa hui mze. And I think this man is actually a good man. One thing ni napenda kumuhusu ni kwa mba anagopa mungu. Anapenda mungu. Definitely we can tell anapenda mungu. And this may not be everybody's cup of tea. Kuna watu wanaza kusema, they do not believe Mr. Kamodo anapenda mungu kwa sababu ya pendi watoto wake. Kuna different dynamics zile ambazo zinaenda. And kuna vitu na forces ambazo huwa zina push mtu to whatever limit. But for me, as a man of God, as a safeguarding officer, as a father, as a man myself, I do believe Mr. Kamodo is actually a good man. Na napenda watoto wake, but kuna vitu 
ambazo hazi jaka vizuri so anyway eh watu wamekuwa kusema huyu mzee atafai kuwa na, ana, anaomba kazi afai kupatiwa kazi nini nini kwa sababu hajisaidia watoto wake i want to go against that as a safeguarding officer mimi kama safeguarding officer i know the only way a man can provide the only way a woman can provide is if they have resources placed before them hawezi kusomesha ama kufundisha mtoto ama kumsaidia kufanya homework kama hakuna vitabu kama hakuna rula na pencil you can't mtoto ndio asome ni lazima akuwe na kitabu ya kusoma a b c d kufanya mahesabu if there's no that pen you cannot start writing in an imaginary air you can't so why am i saying this nasema hivi kwa sababu the only way mr kamodo would have enough to support his children ni if he's got work now i'm going from a reference of vile alisema katika ile video ingine yake ya kwamba kazi zake ziliharibika to a point that yeah he he yeah, yeah he himself did not even have money at some point kuna wakati hata ni kama ali, alienda chini sana mpaka ikakuwa hata mwenyewe hawezi kujisaidia and i think it is from, from that angle that he was trying to say that he wasn't helping his family so i think ni critical huyu mzee aweze kupatiwa kazi now on our last show tulisema na tulipatia Mr. Kamodo advice tukasema Mr. Kamodo start to use social media um, platforms because that is where everything and everybody is at the moment and I'm humbled Mr. Kamodo um embrace evil and definitely you have started allowing different individuals so that you don't have one dimensional ili ilikuwa ni ya Betimbayo so thank you by the way I have no problem with Betimbayo she's a good woman um, I love her works so yes ni vizuri umeingia ndani ya social media and to be honest if i were you ningekwambia go beyond that think not only outside the box think about creating the box so wewe mwenyewe why don't you have your own youtube channel why don't you have your own facebook channel mr kamodo whereby is a picture some like another thing that i like that you embrace katika video yetu tulisema oneshana your portfolio mr kamodo so that people can have a reference watu hupenda kuona sana mr kamodo i'm happy and humbled that katika hii bamashe show uliweza kuoneshana kazi zako kulikuwa na nyumba kadhaa hapo zilioneshanwa we mwenyewe mlikuwa mmekaa kwako ulipatiana reference hii nyumba mtu akitaka kukuja huko kuona i like the way you are talking about hata you are thinking at some point unaweza kutoa hiyo eh roof ya juu uweke flat roof because of what you went through anyway before we come to your experience uh, nilipenda ya kwamba at least kuna nyumba fulani zililetwa pale ambazo we believe you it is you that is constructing them ama ni wewe ndio umezifanya and to be honest i was impressed when i looked at those uh, iso flat na mission it they were wonderful iso patios iso vitu umeweka kama ni wewe umefanya hiyo kazi it's wonderful and bamasi show congratulations on supporting this man so you listened mr kamodo na mr kamodo nakupenda kwa sababu you do listen and my prayer is that go beyond now here and have your own youtube channel i think you are knowledgeable enough mr kamodo go beyond this and get into social media yourself fungua a youtube channel your current wife uh yule ambaye uko naye kwa nyumba saa hizi yeye ako kwa youtube ako kwa tiktok So I want to believe wewe ni mtu ambaye you're knowledgeable you can open a YouTube channel you can open a Facebook page and you can start to showcase download your portfolio hapo hizo manyumba including your own house vile tuli ku advise last time ya kwamba kama where you are working right now start taking small clips videos unaanzia roofing hivi and then put it as a portfolio and this is going to earn you enough kwa sababu sasa watu watakuwa wanaenda wakitype Mr. Kamodo hapo wanaona page yako wanakuja kwa YouTube yako wanakuja kwa Facebook yako na hey, Mr. Kamodo ni amefanya hii nyumba Mr. Kamodo ndiye alinyang'ea huyu mtu oh goodness i actually want this man to uh, build a house for me so itakusaidia Mr. Kamodo again ukishakuwa na your Facebook page or your YouTube uh, page Mr. Kamodo hata huu utakuwa unaongojea watu wakuja wakufanya interview you can just come there like how uh, your wife anaendaga uh, like how virginia and me right now nafanyanga unakuja hapo unasema eh hey, mimi naitwa mr kamodo leo nataka kuongea kuhusu 
uh, bla 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 kuja uongee kuhusu tofauti between uh, blocks and uh, slates uh, hivi na hivi uko na content Mr Kamodo from what nilikusikiza hapo kwa Bamasa show you have a rich wealth of experience and knowledge that ki, wale watu ambaye wanataka kujengewa they have and they need right now so Mr Kamodo listen to me jitengeneze facebook page i know you can do that i know you don't hata uhitaji mtu akutengeneze youtube page you can na hata kama unahitaji then though it is there though it i know though it is on social media contact nyawera you are your daughter you know they, they, they she is very knowledgeable what are watoto wako wote ambao ni adult au akina debute they can do that is your shida but hata usipo contact hao mimi i know you you are knowledgeable enough unaweza kujitengenezea youtube page yako ama facebook and you can be on social media so that ukuwe kuna page zako kamodo the contractor si nimekupatia title yako Mr. Kamodo. Sasa unaweza kusema chief guarding watoto Jeff anakuchukia. Wachana na hawa watu wengine unasikia wakisema eh hey, sijui nini alipendi nini Mr. Kamodo mimi I, I think you are a good man and I think deep down you do care for your children. Kuna pahali tu a few things that don't go right na haziko vizuri and those are the things that hinder you from your breakthrough. Zile ambazo I think I'll come to address a video about co-parenting. So but tukienda pande ya experience I think katika hiyo video ya Bamasi show ile ambayo ilipremiere jana Mr Kamodo has wealth of experience team safeguarding last time tulisema tafadhali watu wapatie Mr Kamodo kazi na tukaweka mpaka namba ya Mr Kamodo kwa our page tukasema watu wamite Mr Kamodo na wapatie kazi and on our hiyo uh, video tuliona watu ambao walikuwa wanasema watamcontact Mr Kamodo ana nikafanya video nyingine nikasema Mr. Kamodo there are people that are going to contact you kwa sababu wanasema hivyo whether they were playing ama ni ile mtu anashikwa na that moment anataka kusema hivyo but i think looking at this video what has happened na tumeweza tu kuchukua a small clip i think it is evident what Mr. Kamodo is saying he's very knowledgeable hiyo mambo ya kujenga nyumba ambayo inaweza kusaidia ku cut cost uh, ku source labor na nini yeye kuja hapo kama contractor na mashini zake na fundi wake na kila kitu i think everybody can surely see mr kamodo you are very knowledgeable you are very experienced uh, you have been in that trade for years from what ulisema and definitely you have a portfolio and uh, one thing ambaye i like about what uh, bamase show interview alikuuliza alikuuliza kuna constructor wengi sana ambaye wanakuanga wanajengea watu na hawana reference au wao hawana manyumba akakupatia um, eh, akakupatia hongera akakupatia um, what's the word he akakupatia accolades hapo akakwambia wewe uko sawa kwa sababu wewe you have a point of reference unaweza kukuambia mtu mimi where i live i built it myself na hapo ndipo huko hiyo mansion ya KC Estate. So Mr. Kamodo definitely you are on the right track. Mimi ningependa kuambia wale watu ambao walikuwa nasema Mr. Kamodo hafai kupatiwa kazi, hajasaidia watoto wake, hajafanya nini, sijui nini ameachilia vijini ya watoto. Mimi ningeomba Mr. Kamodo apatiwe kazi na watu team safeguarding. Tafadhali kama unajua mtu anataka anajenga na anataka kujenga na anataka kupata a good home wada kama ni flats ama ni nyumba yake ya kuisha ama ni nini ama ni business Mr Kamodo is saying he is able to do that at a very affordable prices na all you need is to contact Mr Kamodo na atakusaidia mpaka kwa costs on a wealth of experience nikivendete mbona tukirikia niko tu headway ya naba na unijua ni mambo kuhorera no kutuga no kutuga taka hii brother hii ona maya madu taka ni committed na ni enjo ya gari ya kila mudu kona ntu wapi ya nyupo na kona ikuwa pata hitha hatu mkari kia mwidu kwa ti ma contract ya nge mautaka tauni ya nge nge mwe nge mwe nge in the project we move together you guide him ha kone kumunido kwa higura uo kamunia kwa higura uo vili fea ali mwaka thi iroge runake to nyupo ni kwa giru ya giru waka mwaka kasira hapu foundation ni mkari ikia mwaka kere fast furo mwaka kenera mwaka thi yoka hora ona ya ni uwe mita contract ni enjo ya gari ya kona nyupo ya rogama na kemwe ni agati kuna e contacted mm -hmm. akaje tena mudu ngi kana gaika akahura thimu akajira uka mm -hmm. ndira kwa kanyo bakage kana yeah. akira mudu yo that's what i do na ni yenjo yangu ando ya mahena ba it's a simple number mm -hmm. na ni kide ehuthiru tu na jira ye construction yes please timo do ma 0795 594 
Why am I saying this? Because if Mr. Kamodo is now getting enough work, uh, then definitely there is no reason as to why he will have any excuse of saying he is not supporting his children. But kama huyu mzee atakuwa bado hapati kazi, ama ile kazi anapata tu ni kidogo, then anaza kusema, I don't have any money to support my family. So this is why mimi kama safeguarding family, I pray for every man that is not standing or supporting his children. I pray for every woman that has abandoned watoto wake amewatia the husband. Regardless of how rich the mother of your children is, regardless of how rich the father of your children is, it doesn't matter. You are their mother, you are their father, you must contribute in their upbringing. Period. Wewe ni baba yao, wewe ni baba yao, ni lazima ucontribute. However small, whatever small you contribute or big, doesn't matter. But the point is you must be in their life. Nitakuja kuongea into deep about co-parenting. But I think ni critical Mr. Kamodo aweze kupata kazi. Kwa hivyo tafadhali, wale watu wote mnafikiria Mr. Kamodo hafai kupatiwa kazi kwa sababu hasaidi. And I, and I know kuna watu wanasema, why is he not helping the little that he can help right now? Eh hey, kuna wengine wanasema yeye hey, alisema anataka kujenga kanisa huko kwao nyumbani wakati wa mazishi ya mama yake. Or the, let's not look at being negative watu wa Mungu. Let us be positive. Let us pray for Mr. Kamodo. Tumuombe health yake. We thank God that we can now see that he's strong. Now whatever had been said a few about a month ago alikuwa na issues of health wise. Sasa tunaona ni kama Mungu amemsaidia na amemfungulia milango. Let us pray for this man to be sane. Let us pray for this. Kama vile munaniombea ata mimi ni vendele kuwa sane. Tunakuombea wewe wendele kuwa sane. We are asking God to remove mental health problems from our lives. Familia zetu tusikuwe na issues ama health ambaye zina to affect to a point that we can't think, we can't work, and we can't provide for our families. So mimi ningeambia hawa watu tafadhali. Ombeeni Mr. Kamodo apate kazi. Kazi mingi. Kama kuna watu ambaye wako na kazi na unajua mtu anataka kusaidiwa kujenga tafadhali namba ya Kamodo iko hapo inaisha na 999 msambazieni tafadhali kama kuna mtu unaweza kutaka kujenga ama kumsaidia help the man so that he can have enough work unajua ni kwa nini gani when Mr Kamodo has enough work he will bring in money then if he is not able to help his children then from that angle tunaweza kusema Kwa nini hii mambo imefika hapa? Why is it that you are not supporting your children yet we know you have enough money because kazi unapata? So this is the point. But we cannot start crucifying somebody that doesn't have work. We cannot start crucifying somebody that is trying to make ends meet. Yeye mwenyewe ako na standard zake and then we we are complaining. So Mr. Kamodo Dorito sir. Safeguarding officer Jeff thinks you are doing well and uh, you have started to come on the right line uh, mimi ninge kuomba usisikilize watu sana kwa mtandao about how they are uh, negative about you na ninge kuambia ufocus na ninge kuambia Mungu akufungulie milango kazi itoke na wala watu ambaye watakupatia kazi wakupatie kazi i know you are a hard working man and i know definitely unapenda Mungu na kama unapenda Mungu i know you are not going to abandon your children mr kamodo nderito sir i know you are not going to abandon your children. Hii story ingine za it pressures inatoka from who na who. Whatever happened happened but wewe watoto wako ni wako. Kama kuna problem na watoto wengine do what you need to do. But Mungu akikufungulia hiyo milango najua issues za kusupport watoto wako na nini zitaisha. Uh, channel of communication is important. You do not have to be talking on the phone for 20 30 minutes communicating na mama ya watoto wako na nini na nini but chano ni lazima ibaki kwa sababu kama saizi mtoto akikuwa mgonjwa it's fundamental that you are made aware that mtoto ni mgonjwa fulani amepikimbizwa hospitali ako hivi you know so like there's a time we knew that uh, YBK alikuwa sijua amefunchika mguu alikuwa amegaragara na gari that time it was necessary for you to be 
updated. Ha, mtu hafai kuona mambo kama hayo kwa mtandao. Unafaa uambiwe hey baba watoto, mtoto fulani amemkimbiza hospitali ama imefika hivi na hivi. It's important so that you as a father you are then there to offer your fatherly uh, comfort. Na nini na nini. So ni hayo tu katika siku ya leo ningewaambia watu tafadhali uh, Mr. Kamodo anafaa kupatiwa kazi. People should not start uh, saying all sort of things that he just shouldn't be asipewe kazi iti wamefanya nini. No. As a safeguarding officer I ask and I pray that watu wampe kazi ili apate pesa because hiyo ikishafika hivyo he will have no excuse. But if hana kazi then hata mimi mkikuja mimi mwenyewe I'm a senior safeguarding officer if I don't work I may it may be hard for me to support my family and therefore my family can I can have an excuse ya kusema nimeshindwa ku provide kwa sababu sina nimeshindwa kukuwapeleka holiday kwa sababu I don't have money nimeshindwa kuanulia chakula kwa sababu I'm not working I don't have I don't have a job I don't have an employment I don't have a business So what wangu sometimes we have to think what people say outside the box I think just think about fixing the box creating the box wewe mwenyewe And that is what Mr Kamodo does a contractor so what wangu tafadhali ombeni huyu mzee kazi I hope Mr Kamodo has listened to what I've said uh, Mr Kamodo please fix your own Facebook page fix your own YouTube uh, page and start putting your portfolio there i know you have a lot whatever you're working right now put it there put your numbers there make it very clear that these numbers are only for business not for coming kuongea mambo zingine and mungu atakufungulia milango mr kamodo ni hayo tu hii mambo mengine hizi issues za maisha who is married to who who is married to put that aside where chapa job mr kamodo and i know you have the ability and the zeal i could see it ndani ya bamase show i could see it You have the zeal and God my Mungu amekupatia job health yako iko poa so mzee mbona usichape job si uchape job ili usaidie watoto wako ni hayo tu watu wangu team safeguarding Mungu wa bless sana we are on the road to 20000 strong safeguarding family ndani ya dunia ili tuweze kusaidia watoto na kuongea kuhusu familia nashukuru sana for what God is doing asanteni sana please tia comment yako about what we've discussed today na uh, let us be positive please tuache kuwa negative let us be positive na leo tuna focus na Mr Kamodo na kazi yake eh, na hiyo mambo let us not bring other issues ndani hapa apart from that guys i will see you very soon in my next video mm -hmm.